PIX11 puts you first. Presented by Jacoby and Myers, New York's injury lawyers. We live here too. Welcome back. As the weather begins to turn and holiday travel begins to pick up, we want you to keep your kids safe on the roads. That's why PIX11 has partnered with Jacoby and Myers, New York, to answer your driver safety concerns. So you send in your questions, and joining us now to answer those questions is Andrew Finkelstein, the managing partner from Jacoby and Myers. Welcome back to New York Living. Great to see you. Great seeing you. Very important subject. As the morning traffic reporter, my duties before coming here, I can relate to how important this is and necessary to be talking about. So shall we dive right into these questions? Bring them on. Okay. Question number one, <clears throat> what is the most important rule of driving safety to share with your teen who just got their license? Three important things. Three. Make sure you tell your kids, follow the rules of the road, speed, obey the speed rules. Mm -hmm. Every crash that I represent somebody in, it always relates back to speed. Speed takes time away from making smart decisions and, uh, Speed kills is the, the message you want to tell your kids. Oh, yeah. Second, wear your seatbelt. Kids, they get in the car with other kids. They don't wear their seatbelt. They, they trick the Wear your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. So many injuries can be avoided by wearing that three-point harness. Isn't that crazy to think? It's crazy that people don't wear it. It's there for a reason, folks. Yeah. And the third most important, distracted driving. Oh, God, yeah. Put the phone down. Don't get rowdy with your passengers. There's a reason why there's a rule that kids can't drive with more than mm -hmm. two people mm -hmm. under the age of 21 because mm -hmm. that's when terrible things happen. Mm -hmm. So remember those three things and tell your kids. And it's all avoidable from there. Absolutely. Okay, our next question was, how, do, how old do you have to be to sit in the front seat? That's a good question. I don't know well, if I know the answer. Kind of depends on what state you're in. Okay. So New York? 12. Really? New Jersey, 8. What? But here's the thing. The federal government Center for Disease Control uh -huh. has it at 12. So err on the side if you're from Jersey, keep it at 12. Oh, but the important thing is it's really uh, the reason why they make it, it's much safer sitting in the back of a car, but it's about the size of the person mm. because of where that seatbelt hits you. And if the seatbelt doesn't, if you're too low, you have to make sure you w sit with a booster, a booster even though a kid it. doesn't want to. Four foot nine is the, is the threshold in New York. So if you're four foot nine or taller and over 12 in the front, that's no problem. But it's okay. really where that seatbelt yeah. is because if that seatbelt is up by the neck, and something terrible happens, oh, uh, it God. only makes the injuries that much worse. I don't even want to think about it. I was definitely not sitting in the front seat in Jersey at age eight. Whew, that's scary. Yeah. Okay, number three. Uh, let's see. Our next question is, what recourse do drivers have when crashes occur due to road disrepair? Oh, interesting. Road disrepair. Mm -hmm. Easy question, complex answer. Okay. So the bottom line is the municipalities have an obligation to design their roads safely mm -hmm. and to maintain their roads. Ah. And there are a lot of permutations off of each of those, but if they don't design it properly or they fail to maintain it and it causes injury or damages, you need to frankly call a lawyer right away. Why? Because to pursue a claim against a municipality, there are special rules, early timing, get the police there, take photos of the location, of what you think happened, and then get a lawyer involved. Hmm. Okay, our last question for the day. What should you do if you see another driver on the road driving recklessly? Well, it's pretty simple. Don't engage the rage. Oh, there we go. Right? Engaging the rage only escalates things. You see somebody driving uh, recklessly, somebody's on your tail, mm -hmm. uh, let them by. When you get into your car, you have no concept that somebody is gonna be driving crazy and, and really annoying you. Don't let it distract you from what you need to do is just mm -hmm. to get to your location safely. Don't take these diversions and suddenly become responsible. If you see somebody driving and they're, they look like they're intoxicated, it's not your obligation to now start following them no. and doing things. Don't escalate. 
pull over, call the police, give a marker, let them take care of it. There we go. Leave it to the professionals. Andrew, thank you so much for answering our viewers' questions today. This is all very important stuff. Now, everybody, stay safe out there on the roads. Please.